In this video I'm going to show you how to play the Estimating Angles game on the Enrich website. I'm assuming you've already clicked on the link and that's taken you to the web page you can see here. We'll start by looking at how to play the game and then talk about some of the different options you can use to make the game a bit more challenging. So first of all scroll down to the game area which is where you've got this grey circle with a blue radius line marked. We're going to play on level 1, which you can see at the bottom, it says level equals 1, and unless you have two people sitting at the same laptop, you have to play as a one-player game. You can't play this game over the internet, you have to both be sitting at the same laptop. We're going to play 10 rounds on level 1 to start with. And the game says first of all that our target angle is 84 degrees. Click on the circle to start and click to stop. When we click on the circle, a second radius line is going to start rotating around in this circle. And my challenge is to click on stop when I think it's got to an 84 degree angle with the blue line that's marked. So let's have a look at that. OK, I've got 87 degrees. That's pretty close. I'm quite pleased with that. And it's told me I've scored 10 points. So round one, 10 points. Click to continue. I click and my new challenge is 32 degrees. I'm now on round two. Click again to start. Oh, that wasn't so good. 53 degrees and zero points. So I didn't do so well there. So my score's still on 10. My average, my mean score is now five, 10 points from two rounds. Let's have another go. 23 degrees this time. Ah, oh, 17 degrees, not too bad. I only scored 5 points though, not 10, but still OK, so my score has gone up to 15. Why am I scoring 10, 5 and 0? Well, that's down in this bottom right corner here. If I'm within 5 degrees of my target angle, including getting it exactly right, I'll score 10 points. If I'm out by 6 to 10 degrees, I'll score 5 points. That's what happened here, because the target angle was 23 degrees, and I scored 17, which is 6 less. And if I'm out by 11 to 15 degrees, I'll score two points. On my second round, I was out by quite a long way, so I wasn't within 15 degrees, which is why I scored zero. What I'd like you to do to play the game is play 10 rounds. Make sure you complete your 10th round, you'll get your score, and your average, your mean, is your total score divided by 10. See what the best score you can get is on level 1, and then maybe try to beat it. We'll talk about the different levels now. We started on level 1, but there are four levels you can access using this slider. What makes the levels more challenging is shown just above the game here. Level 1 only includes acute angles up to 90 degrees. Level 2 goes up to obtuse angles, 180 degrees, and levels 3 and 4 include reflex angles, angles between 180 and 360 degrees. If you're playing 10 rounds, the highest score is 100, so let's see who can get the highest score 